Let's design together a simple yet stunning nature poster in Photoshop. I'll show you quick steps to create this calming nature and harmony concept. So, let's begin. First, open the Adjustment Layer menu and select Gradient. Click on the Gradient bar, choose the basic preset, and set your custom colors. Assign your first color code to the left handle. Then apply a different code to the right handle. Click OK to apply the gradient, then enable the reverse option. Assign a label color to the gradient layer for easy identification, then lock it. Next, select the Rectangular Marquee tool and draw a rectangle selection. Then, add a solid color adjustment layer and apply any color for now. Now it's time to bring in the subject. Simply drag it into Photoshop. Adjust the subject's scale and position, then flip it to face the right side. Let's create a clipping mask for the subject. Simply right-click on the subject layer and choose Create Clipping Mask to keep it within the shape. Next, duplicate the subject layer so we can refine it separately. With any selection tool active, open the Select and Mask panel. Start by clicking Select Subject to let Photoshop automatically detect the main figure. Then, enhance the edges by using the Refine Hair button for cleaner details. To improve the overall blend, check the Decontaminate Colors option, and once everything looks good, click OK to apply the changes. The rectangle feels a bit short, so I'll extend its length to better fit the composition. There are some visible issues around the hair, so I'll make a selection in that area and use Generative Fill to fix it. Once the generation is complete, Photoshop will provide three variations. Simply choose the one that looks best and then continue with the design. Next, go to the Layers panel and lock the subject layers to keep them secure. Now it's time to add the leaves. I'll drag them in from my computer and adjust their placement to fit the design. To enhance the design further, I'll go to the Filter menu, choose Blur, and then select Gaussian Blur. I'll adjust the Blur value until it matches the look of the design. After applying the Blur, click OK to confirm. Next, select the subject group and add a heading using the Type tool. For better visibility, I'll set the text color to red temporarily. I'll switch the font style to bold. And for the first line, reduce the size slightly and pick a darker shade sampled from the tree. Then for the second line, I'll apply a lighter color taken from the design for contrast. Once satisfied, hit OK to apply the changes. Now I'll adjust the size and position of the heading text. Next, I'll add a paragraph text. Change its color to dark green sampled from the heading and switch the font style from bold to book for better readability. For the last words, green living, I'll apply a lighter green shade to make them stand out. Finally, I'll adjust the size and alignment so the text lines up neatly with the left edge of the heading. Next, I'll create a rectangle beneath the Green Living text and fill it with a green shade picked from the heading. Finally, I'll resize and adjust it to fit perfectly with the text. I'll add the onward date just below the paragraph using the same color sampled from the heading. I'll set the font family to medium, then adjust the size and position for balance. Next, I'll create a selection of the green living text and change its font to medium, making it stand out more and connect strongly with the design. Finally, I'll add the word onward, give it a light green color from the heading, and adjust its size and placement so it aligns neatly with the date text.
At the top left corner, I'll place the logo space. But for now, I'll add my YouTube channel handle and position it neatly in line with the design. At this stage, I'll refine and adjust the overall text to ensure proper balance and alignment within the design. Now I'll import leaves from my computer and position them within the design. After that, I'll add a layer mask to the leaf layer, select the brush tool with a soft brush, and gently erase the parts of the leaves that aren't needed. Here we have our final nature poster design. Clean, simple, and stunning. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more creative Photoshop tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.